Testing, testing. One, two, one, two. Hey, Arturo, how are you? Our lady, what's up? Not much. How are you? I'm doing phenomenal. JJ, the dude, Joseph, Dr. Joseph James. What's up? What's up, man? How are you? I'm doing phenomenal. We got Going iPhone good as well. Robert. Um, da, 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 da. All right, hang on. I'm trying to let people in and greet people. Anna Lynn. Cool. We got a bunch of people that should be joining. So this is going to be awesome. Um, incredible. Anna Lynn. What, yeah. what the high pony? What's up? How you doing? Um, so uh, the way this call is going to go today is uh, we've got Ryan on. And uh, when I was in Nashville, his office, he and I were the only two that was in there hustling the whole time. So we we were always working. One of the things I loved about Ryan is before I could talk to him, because my office, you had to walk past my office to get to his or come off the elevator or whatever. He's always on the phone. He put his finger up. He was always closing deals. So I was like, okay, this is one thing that I knew is, is, is that he knew how to get it done. And then through coach, he was saying, uh, he said, Ryan's tagline was moving millions in minutes. And I was like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So in regards to this, one of the reasons why I bring this conversation up is because I want you guys to understand one specific thing. And I kind of showed this before, and I'm just kind of pre-framing um, this epiphany that I had. And I want you guys to understand this at a very, very high level, because this is probably kind of the process that um, Ryan went through. Um you know, kind of being an agent, the evolution of, you know, having success, right? So, so this is kind of the life of insurance agents right here. It's the slavery, flywheel, client acquisition agencies, right? Where you're kind of stuck between five to 20K, right? And we know if you're not like printing 30K, you're kind of still struggling and kind of broke, right? And you're kind of doing final expense, mortgage protection, or vet leads, low closing rate, low contact, right? You're solving lower level problems, just like everybody else. And you kind of got a commoditized service. Well, the problem with the commoditized service is that it's always a price to the bottom. So agent B comes behind you $10 less, this and that. Well, you know what happens, right? They undercut your business. So you got low persistency rate, you got high charge backs, then you can't acquire customers, right? And you can't really scale your business. This is the vicious cycle of broke agents, right? I know we all at some point been through this and we're like, all right, I got to figure out something because this isn't working. And so the reason why I brought Ryan on is because <laughs> he had a scenario where we had a conversation where he was trying to get some stuff to work back in February. And I was like, all right, well, let me take a look at it and just see if I can do something. Round one, he was like, yeah, I'm getting some contact, but the leads are shit. So over six months, I'm like, all right, I need to figure this out. I took it on the challenge. I was like, all right, we had one of these meetings. And then I was like, Ryan, let me get some of these in your hand. And then he, he blew it up after that. Hence, we started with the annuity stuff. And I was like, okay. So now I wanted to bring him in because he's written almost 30 million in annuities um, this year and is always crushing it, right? And so the reason why it's important is because here's the amazing cycle of a rich agent, right? Which is uh, uh, IULs, annuities, and 401k rollovers is your nine commodity, right? Which means that you're solving higher level problems and you can make between 500 to $10,000 at least a month, you can afford more leads, you can build a team, you can have clients, your clients are going to get great results, which means this, they're going to have a higher persistency rate, they can afford your services, you can afford to buy higher quality leads and lower chargebacks, it gets you off of that. And how do I know that this works, right? Like Jeremy Hayes, last month, he cracked 300k in personal um, issue pay business, and he wrote 1.7 in annuities. So you can do the math on what that is right there. And so with that vicious cycle, it's the information that Ryan's going to give you guys today to try to scale your business and also layer on some other things, because this is kind of the high ticket insurance, if that makes sense. So without further ado, we got my man, Ryan Chikelli. Yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you. Well, listen, I'm I'm excited. Uh, I don't obviously know you got all you guys on the call and I've done a couple of these. So the big thing is. I'm just going to preface this right off the rip. If you're not doing indexed annuities, if you're not offering your clients indexed annuities, you guys are sitting on millions of dollars in commissions that you haven't earned yet. All right. And so I'm going to walk you through. I do a lot of different presentation stuff. I'm all on Zoom. So I'm going to share my screen. And as I share my screen, I'll have like three and four presentations I'm going to jump through. The biggest thing is I want you guys to know the opportunity that's out there. Like 
we have a, a training platform called Moving Millions in Minutes. And all of the agents that I talk to, a lot of them do life. And all of them are trying to make like five to 10 grand a month, which is fine. But like with annuities, you can sell one policy and make 20 grand in a month. Like it's, it's super easy. And so I want to show you guys kind of how this works. But first, I'm big on value. I'm super big on value. So like the client or the, uh, uh, the agent's great. I want you to make money. That's great. But I don't give a shit if you don't make money, if your clients aren't in a great product. And so check this out, guys. I'm going to share my screen for a second. Do, 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 do. One share. Let's see how all this works. All right. You guys able to see my screen? It's loading. We can see it. Running slow as shit. It is okay. Uh, this is a, a, a this is super important. So this isn't a statement. I just did this with my clients. This is a theme performance plus elite ten. Uh, I did. I wrote this policy on ten twenty seven a uh, twenty three on ten twenty eight a twenty four days ago. My client, look at this man, eighty eight thousand dollars in a bonus, a hundred and forty seven thousand dollars in a year. We took them from 490 or uh, 491 to 714. We did his review this morning. He's like, Ryan, I love you. I love you. And I said, I know. And I, this is what you can get in indexed annuities. Look at these returns. The market did 6, 8. He did 15, 4. The market did 17. He did 22. The market did 31. He did 32. Like any advisor that's out there telling you, don't write annuities. You're not going to make any money, dude. They're full of shit because they 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 have to make AUM business uh, to to make money, right? And on this one product, you're only compensated one time. But guys, this one product paid me twenty nine thousand five hundred dollars. One product. So it's just, and I do. Say that one more time. Twenty nine thousand five hundred on this one product. That's how much I made. Twenty nine thousand, and I'm doing four to five of these a month. Uh, every month right now. And I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that because like, dude, you got to be doing annuities. You have to be doing these things. And so I'm going to jump over. I'm going to blow through some of these presentations pretty quick because I want you to see the opportunity, but also get value. Um, please note that this is part of my webinar presentation. You're going to see a call to action disregard it. Uh, I won't even, I won't even stop on the page, Arturo, with respect to your guys. Um, but oh, let's Scroll, scroll, scroll. So a little background on me, guys. Uh, I've been doing this for 16 years, consistently write over, writing over eight figures every single year. I'm working with hundreds of clients. Uh, we've done thousands of case design. I've been very blessed to be featured in uh, many different magazines. Uh, Forbes is nice, but Fiduciary News. When Fiduciary News starts to pick up a liking to you, that's so important because that's like a premier uh, place you want to be is in Fiduciary News. So this is my commission statement for um, September now. So I made over $75,000 in September uh, and I wrote eight policies, right? So I get in uh, 8,000, then 10, then 16, 18, 21, and then seven, the 500 was my smallest one. And then we did 27 and 39. And so guys, that one month, uh, those are legit to my account. That's from one carrier. We have tons of different carriers. And so- it's such a super important time for you to be getting in and doing this because rates are so high. And so for you guys, um, if you want a copy of my presentations or if you want, uh, I got a free ebook, Common uh, Mistakes Nudie Agents Make, just shoot me a text. I want you to text me. I don't want you to put it in this group because uh, I'll never respond to it. And so let me see if I can get in the chat here. Let's see, get in this chat. Um, Archer, I don't know if you can throw my number in the chat, but uh, but I'll throw my number in there. We'll put it in the chat. Shoot me a text and uh, I'll get you onto this stuff. And so this is my in-person seminar I do, guys, Financially Unshakable. Um, you guys, I'll send this to you. You can have it as well. And it goes over like what is happening in our economy. Now, Arturo, tell me to take 20 minutes, not 40. So I'm going to recap this pretty quick. We are in our economy where we're at because of decisions we made in the past. COVID happened. 
the, the, the market was rocked when COVID happened. The government had to do something. So they launched a ton of stimulus packages, right? Every time the market would go down, they would launch more stimulus packages. And so what we had was inflation happening relatively quickly. And to beat inflation, our government passed the Inflation Reduction Act, allowing them to raise rates, which is something they haven't done in 35 years. They raised rates in uh, uh, 2021 to presently, they raised rates 11 times. So guys, we've been higher in rates before. We've never got this high this fast. And so what that led to was bank failures, right? Directly correlated with bank failures. So from from uh, 2023, we lost more banks than all of 2008 to 2010. And we'll talk about those, right? So the, the government they put in, the Federal Reserve, uh, they put in for COVID 4.7 trillion, legislative 8 point, or 5.8 trillion, and then administrative 875,000. That's how much they injected into the economy um, for COVID. Inflation went through the roof, right? 2021, 4, 7, 22, 8, 23, they, they said uh, 6, 4, and, and it, was, it, it was creeping even higher than that. Like if, if the Federal Reserve is telling you it's 6, 4, financial analysts are probably telling you it's closer to 8, right? Um, and this is kind of what I hit, Federal Reserve, hedge inflation, from March of 22 to July of 23, they raised rates 11 times. And this leads to bank failures and because banks are backwards, right? They're borrowing long-term treasury bonds from the banks or from the federal government and they're backwards in these bonds when the government raises rates. Silicon Valley took 100 and, or 209 billion, Czech Republic 229 billion, Signature 110, PacWest 34. Interesting fact about PacWest, JP Morgan secretly gave them 30 million to try to save them uh, and they still failed, right? So all of that's happening and in the midst of it right now between 24 and 25, we're going through a commercial real estate, the largest commercial real estate refinance uh, that we've ever seen in the history of our economy. And between 24 and 25, 20% of all commercial real estate needs to be refinanced. So guys, that's a huge issue because they're going from twos and threes to seven and eights on the refinance. So one, can they afford it? Two, um, is the building worth the appraisal? Three, are they going to have to lay off staff? And so this is happening right now as I'm talking to you. Obviously, the economy feels real good uh, this morning because Trump was elected. And so the economy is real high this morning, uh, which is good and great. But commercial real estate is still something they're going to have to address. Another big issue is commercial real estate lost its grade A asset. It's no longer a grade A asset. That's super important, guys. That means it's not worth as much as what it was worth. 28% um, non occupancy occupancy rate. That's strictly from COVID. That's you know I work I do virtual almost everything now. That's because COVID opened that door for us. And so commercial real estate is feeling it now. You you might be like Ryan, COVID, banks failing, commercial real estate. Why is that affecting us, guys? Because it's all going to in, affect our current economy, which is so important. My client that just made. Um, uh, I think it was 44 overall, 44% on his investment, including the bonus first year. That's all tailored because of all of this stuff that's happening. Is it, That's the reason why clients are making so much money. Goldman Sachs says uh, 2024, 5,000 jobs a month will be lost due to the commercial real estate crisis. 2025, 10,000 jobs per month will be lost. This is an article right straight from Goldman Sachs. We had at the beginning of this year, the collapse of WeWork. So a $47 billion um, company uh, filed bankruptcy. It's it's crazy. Credit card use is at an all-time high. So I won't, I'm, like I said, I'm going to kind of blow through these slides, but we've never seen credit card use at this record levels of high compared with or partnered with the lowest savings levels in 30 years. So the lowest savings levels in banks in 30 years. Why is that? It's because they're they're losing faith in the banks. And there's a huge concern if you are knowledgeable that FDIC announced they are oh, pretty broke. They got less than 0.5% of all the money in the world 
or all the money in the United States banks, excuse me, um, sitting with them right now. So like less than 1% is what FDIC has. They can't cover five banks if they go down, let alone 20. So it's a big concern right now. Uh, and so this gets into the rule of 100, guys. I'm not going to go over this. Uh, if you guys want to hit me up after this, I will. But for sake of um, our Charles time, this is what I show clients. Rule 100, get your money safe. What are safe investments? Uh, and then I go right into annuities, right? This is my annuity pitch, right? Guarantee no loss, compounding interest, average 7% return, low or no fees. I use this graph in every one of my presentations. And so I'm just going to do this with you because if, if you just get this from the presentation, it'll be worth it. But let's say Mrs. Jones, she's back here in 1998. Let's say Mrs. Jones has $100,000 and she has in her mind, I'm going to retire in 20, um, 2008. I'm going to retire in 2008. Well, the S&P 500 is the dark green line. The gold line is the index annuity. This is super important. I want you guys to like make a mental note of this. If you ever use this graph or a graph like it, I use this graph because it is compliant and it is very, very consistent with where rates were. So from 1998 to 2018, the average participation rate was 35%. That's why I use this graph. Today, average par rate is 85 so this graph, if I used it with current par rates, it would look so good. No one would believe me. So I use the old one, that 35%. So we can see the market here goes up, clients making money. Uh, in 2000.com bubble happens, client has 124, market has 151, but then .com bubble happens, drops all the way down to 90, client just levels out. You don't make any money, but you're not losing. Market goes up all the way to 2008. We have the mortgage crisis. Market goes from 151. So it climbs all the way back to 151. Mrs. Jones money would have. And then drops right back down to, to 93,000. Where an index, you just level off. So here's what's so important, guys. This is beautiful. And I was I, I was talking with my client this morning that I showed you that, that statement on. He goes, Ryan, I can never lose the interest I made that I made last year, right? No. It allows for compounding interest. So from 159 to 162, we lock that in on your anniversary date and you can never lose that money again. Principal plus interest equals new principal. It allows for compounding interest. Guys, that is one of the most powerful things about indexed annuities. Uh, but we, we look over the course of time, right? So it, the market does rally, comes back. We end at 287. The market ends at 257, a difference of $30,000. Your, that For your clients, that could be a year's worth of income, right? $30,000. And then this high blood pressure, think of all the money you can save them by not paying high blood pressure medication through all that, the ups and downs, losing your 401k. And so what are the benefits? There's guaranteed no risk. Old, old On old par rates, we average 6 to 8%. We're averaging way higher than that now. Guaranteed income, death benefit options. Compounding interest, tax deferred, um, gross tax deferred, which is great. No advisor fees. So that's, I love, there's no advisor fees on this product. The client I was talking to today said, Ryan, how, why do you not make money every year? And I, I said, because I get a one-time commission uh, and, and it, it's my job as a fiduciary to honor uh, the contract we put in place for the 10 years that you have it. And if you run into more money or if you find someone that might be looking for an advisor, I, my goal is that I'll service you and you'll just refer me some business. And so he goes, I feel like I should pay you. <laughs> I said, nope, nope. But he's very happy. Premium bonus, long-term care benefits. This is a big one. I got one right now, guys. Um, probate avoidance and wealth transfer. I have, I have a client that I was working with for five years. We turned 300,000 into 600,000. Very lucky with the five years. Those are not common results to double your money in five years. He passed away three weeks ago. His beneficiaries, um, his beneficiary was the mother, uh, his sister. The mother um, was going to get another annuity with me to avoid probate and wealth transfer. She was the, so so uncle dies, uh, sister gets the money, sister's going to do an annuity, kids talk her out of the annuity. I met with the kids, talked her out of the annuity. Mom dies in the time of, like, if they would have got the annuity, we would have never took the commission. 
uh, we would have implemented the policy and then gave it to the beneficiaries. Mom dies. Now they have a check in mom's name. They just got it yesterday. And because they uh, uh, they already took everything to the, um, like they said, mom died, the banks won't take the money. So now that we have to put the money into probate, now all three of the kids are fighting and they all have lawyered up. All three of the kids. And it's all because like the, the, the avoidance of probate and wealth transfer, you don't know the power of that until you're in the middle of it, right? So because they talked mom out of getting an annuity and mom just happened to die, which they would have got a 20% bonus on the money, real stupid. Um, but now they're all lawyered up and they're willing to sue each other over $600,000. Like it's crazy what happens with people with money. And, and you might say, hey, well, my brother and me, we get along great. The problem in this scenario is one of the brother's wives. And so it's like, you don't know what can happen. And so the point is, is the probate avoidance and wealth transfer is worth its weight in gold. All right. Um, why is right now the right time? Really quick, not to cut you off. Can you go yeah. a little bit more into depth as far as what you mean by probate avoidance? Uh, because they all have lawyers now and yeah. they're all fighting for the money. So how does that work with probate avoidance? Yeah, so it works. It's a ta it works just like life insurance on annuity. So it's an annuity, it's an investment, but it's tailored to a life insurance chassis. And so when they die, it acts as beneficiary payouts right away. And so the way that it would have worked for these children, if we would have got it into the other annuity, is when she died, the bonus would have been applied, and then they would have got checks directly to each one of the brothers for the exact amount that the mother wanted, and no one could say anything else. There's no like. I get this much, I get this much, I get this much. It is set in stone. It's almost like a trust, but just for the money that's in the annuity. And so in Michigan, now it goes into this, um, the mother's estate and probate in the state of Michigan is a minimum of six months because you have to allow for family to contest it. You have to allow for debtors to come in. And so now the family's all contesting mom's will because two of the sons aren't in the will. So one, you're, you, you know, you gotta make sure if you got clients, be an advisor for them. Even if you're just an insurance agent, be an insurance advisor. You know, they should be protected. They should know their beneficiaries. Wills and trusts are not that much money, but just the power of the annuity could have solved all of this is all I'm getting at, right? Um, so probate is a shit show. Uh, there, Joseph James, that's, that's what probate is. Um, rates are high right now. Bonuses are high. I, I said this earlier, uh, par rates in 2018 were 34%. Par rates at the time that I made this were 70. Uh, they're still 70 now. No caps on growth. And so just a real big win, guys. It's, it's a great time to be in indexed annuities. I'm going to jump back to this one real quick. I'm going to scroll through quick, quick, quick. I, I want to show you a couple of things. Um, okay. So this is super important. So average industry premium, $250,000. That's the industry average. Industry average commission rate, 6%. That's $15,000. Um, the average uh, agent that I work with does nine sales a year. So it's a, roughly an extra 135,000. Two agents that are on my team, Evan and Roisin, uh, each one year, um, Evan did 1.6 million in annuity sales, which is nothing guys. That's like peanuts. 13 clients, he made 109,000 in commission. Roisin, 2.3 million, did a little better than Evan. 17 clients made 154,000 in commission. That's in 12 months. So you guys need to learn annuities. Uh, you, you absolutely need to learn annuities and partner with someone. If you don't have someone you're partnered with, um, guys, I, I partner with agents all the time. Uh, that's why he has, Arturo has me on here. I partner with agents. What we do is you find the opportunity uh, or, or buy some leads from Arturo. We made, I closed 750,000. Sorry, I got a little heater on this, roasting me out down there. It's cold in Michigan, guys. Um, uh, but we got 750,000 we did with Arturo's leads. And so as Arturo was having more people buy them, they were just like, hey, I'm having a harder time close because you have to know what to say. That's why I sell a trading platform. You got to know what to say. You have to get their attention right now right? Like you have to be different than the other advisor calling her. And so we have scripts. So what we do is we give you the scripts, you get the client, uh, the lead, and then you just say, Hey, I have a gentleman. He acts, uh, we act as an addition of your agency industry leader, Ryan Chikeli. I want to bring him in. And then we work with you with the lead 
And then we work the lead, close the lead. You are with us every step of the way. We split commission 50-50. And so we do that. The goal is we do that five to 10 times with you. And then you see our process. We record everything for compliance. You get a copy of it. You see our process. And after splitting five sales, you're like, damn, I can do this on my own. And then you go off and you, you fly. Um, I don't do contracts with agents. So like, there's no like contracts, anything like that. It's just meant to help you um, make the most out of the leads that Arturo are cooking up. And they're, they're good, man. What I love about Arturo's leads, and I think Arturo, I told you this, in our training platform, Moving Millions in Minutes, there is a marketer spot uh, where I spend about 300,000 a year in leads and uh, I use everybody. And so I tell you my thoughts on what they are. And I tell you, it, it, the course is called what to buy when. So it's what you should be doing uh, based on where you're at in your career and who you should buy. And what I love about Arturo's leads is the fact that he his leads say annuity rollovers, 401k rollover to an annuity. A lot of times these ad companies will bait and switch you. They will say, learn how to get interest-free retirement, but we're not going to tell you how, call our advisor or um, learn how to avoid taxes. We're not going to tell you how, call our advisor. And then you get them on the phone and they're looking for something completely different. What I loved about Arturo's leads is the, the th I closed three, just so you know, I think Arturo sent me, that you guys got to realize perspective, right? I think Arturo sp uh, sent me like 40 leads. I closed three leads, but the, that, the 40 leads and three shouldn't matter. Like if I closed one, that's all that should matter because the ROI was fucking insane. And so we closed, uh, you know, north of $700,000 on those leads. It was like 60 grand in commission, 50, 60 grand in commission. And, uh, you know, I mean, I'm not going to, Arturo hooked me up on those leads because we were working on something. So I've been, you know, uh, the leads are good and they say directly in them, annuity, 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 annuity. So you're not surprising these people. That's one of the biggest caveats that we get. So I tried to go quick, Arturo. Did I make it in 20 minutes, man? I was like blowing through there. Yeah, I want you to go quick so that we leave some time for questions just in case, because I know people would have questions, you know, even nitty gritty stuff like, okay, what's the, um, you know, what's your flow of appointments and like scope of how you run your business, how you able to get things moved over, just very high level stuff. And I know Joseph is a very um, studious person, so I know he would have some questions. So um Let's start with a high level question and then we'll get to, to Joseph, which is see, um, what's the process? There's some in that that Jack has one on here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's start with that. Yeah, a lot of agents are running IULs, but they are annuity age and have some cash. So what are some lead questions for a newbie? Is that what you're asking? What are some lead? Yeah, leads? yeah, for sure. Like if you have those like leading into those, because I think Joseph ended up with some whales um through the I so some people are have bought IUL leads and then they're having some financial conversations and they're discovering annuity opportunity. So there's a blend between annuity advisors on here and then some people who are doing IULs that they're running into these opportunities. Yeah. So I'll give you a good one. Uh, real important is stop saying annuity. <laughs> and here's why, right? Uh, for some reason, uh, annuities came out as a pension pr product. They were built to be a pension product. I was on a podcast the other day with Bruce Weinstein called Not Your Father's Annuities. And it's because annuities have changed so much that they're not a pension style product anymore. They're a fantastic product with good rates, good returns, safety, and liquidity. That's not what they used to be. So what I say, and I do like annuities, right? I do like annuities, but index link products, right? That's how you get their attention. Oh, you have some assets, you have an old 401k. Are any of them in index link products? And so like, if you're running uh, IUL leads and there's money there, they're like index link products. No, they're not. Oh, well, let me, let me talk to you about them, right? That graph is all based on a, a, an annuity is an index link investment strategy. So I use index link products and then you can, you can go over them. Um, my contact info. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to put it in. I just pulled this up. Two, three, one, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight. And then I also encourage you guys, um, to just watch some of the stories I post. I post probably five to seven stories a day on marketing. Like I'm marketing to the clients um, uh, compliantly. So if you're not in our training program, as an insurance agent, you do have to be very careful about what you're doing compliant wise. Like you can't recommend shit. And so uh, what I do is I, I give factual information and then I pair it with 
what we're doing. And so uh, if you guys follow some of the stories, then you can, I encourage you to take my story and, and make it yours. Uh, that way you guys can do compliant marketing, remake some of the videos. Um, but yeah, so index link strategies always piques their interest. You can ask them, you know, like I, uh, I did, a, I rolled $400,000 last night to a guy in Oregon and he was like, man, I've had a really good return the last year. I'm up 26% of my money. And I said, well, what is your three, what is your three year um, average return? What is your five-year average return? Most advisors will give that to you. It's on your statement. There's not a single person out there that is, has a brokerage account, guys, that their three and five-year returns look good. Not one person. Because 2022 and 2023 were rough. And we, we pulled back 23 and 24 has been great. But all these people are just making their money back. Um, Hold on. Let's slow down because this is important, right? Because you just, yeah. I don't want you to gloss over that because that's a key point. Can you slow down and go back over talking about 2022 and 2023, because if people are having these conversations, right, this is a good pain point. Yeah. Because really, people don't, people don't, um, people are optimistic about the country and the market. They don't really look at things that's just in there and they're just trusting. But if you yeah. say, hey, just take a peek and look at it. If they do, they're like, oh crap, I got a problem. So let's yeah. down. When are you having the conversation or saying something about 2022 and 2023? I just, I just, yeah, I just asked how their investments have been doing over the last three to five years. Um, and that most of my clients, because of the downturn in 2022, the, uh, 2022 ended negative uh, 18% on the year. And 2023 came back and rallied, but the first three quarters were down uh, uh, almost negative 20, 24, 25. It came back and rallied at the end of the year. But because of those losses, most of the clients that I sit down with, they're only positive one. Uh, well, negative three to positive five over a five year span. And so do you find yourself in the same spot? And they're like, oh, I, I don't, the last two years I've done really well. Like, if you don't mind, can we just check your statement real quick? I did one, I literally, uh, I want to be careful about if we can, doo -doo 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 -doo. man, I hate doing this. You guys can't see. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, it says that's three year, negative three. Five year, 1%. I just did this with a client. That's literally what I showed him. I'm like, man, your Edward Jones hasn't done anything. Like over three, and, and you're paying 1.25% in a, a management fee. So you're paying 1.25% per year. Your three year is a negative three, two, and your five years a positive one. But with that, with that 1.25% um, return, you're like negative nine, dude. Like we need to get you in a non-fee product with no loss. And I showed him, uh, the returns. And just like you guys are seeing them, like this is a different set of returns from a different annuity, right? This is one of my stories I posted, but on that, uh, see, it's 19%, 39%, and 36%. That's what my clients made in an index annuity. And guess what? Every year you lock that in, it, it becomes your new principal and you can never lose it again. Like a good year followed by a bad year, followed by a good year is the best thing you could ever ask for in an annuity because you reset in an annuity guys. Um, the S and P 500 ticker symbol today, da, 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 it's probably high is 59.20. It's super high. Yeah, um, cool. It's 59.20, but there's a lot of people out there that says what goes up must come down. So let's say you get a client gets an 18% bonus on their money today market what goes up must come down goes from 59 to 32 clients first year didn't make a nothing well that's not true they got an 18 percent bonus but they reset the ticker symbol at 32 so now they're locked in at a way lower rate and so as the market comes back up they're going to ride that thing to the moon that like i i love talking about this stuff man that's why we you know we're passionate and i love doing it but when you're getting client returns between 15 and 39 I didn't even post that on, uh, uh, with client. I don't show that to clients because I don't want them to have that. You didn't make me 39. percent That that's a lot of money, man. Yeah, and for so, sure. And that's uh, kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to have you on is the passion too. Is like you know when you get excited about that, you see that people are you know really enthusiastic about the work that they're doing. It's like these are all the things that you're helping your clients with that they have no idea is going on, and they just they just turn it over and they're just hoping that it's working out well. What's up, Mo? And one of the um, but, things that I'm going to put on here that I think is super important for you guys, and you have to realize this, is one of the best things that you can have to create success is a positive attitude and positive energy. And, and I mean, 
like like what you're getting with me on my energy level that's so important because I want to get you guys excited about your future because then you take action, right? It's the same thing with clients. If you get clients excited about their future, I'm going to make these future returns. I'm not going to have risk anymore. I'm going to have liquidity. They're going to take action in a very timely manner. We do a lot of our Zooms. Um, you, I wouldn't tell a client they'll make 30% returns. <laughs> uh, no. what, what I do though yeah, but what I do is because I have hundreds of these statements is I'll send them 10. Like I have just the returns. I said, this one's from October. This one's from March, May, June, July. And I'll send them returns on clients with no client info so they can see multiple client returns. But no, don't tell them. Uh, the, the guarantee is that they don't lose. That's the only guarantee, folks, that they don't lose. <laughs> um, and depending on the client, you can have guaranteed income and stuff like that. But I digress. Uh, I, I'm going to do um, about 33 million this year. And 10 of it was in person. The other uh, 23 million was all uh, virtual on Zoom. Someone asked about Zoom. So I prefer Zoom tremendously. Uh, yes. Still have I'm glad you said that because some people, I mean, my whole business before 2022 was meet was I had to convince every agent to do that, that they could do it on Zoom instead of in person. Then, then COVID happened. And then a lot of these people from the same organization, belly to belly, right? They were like, uh, they were shunned for doing stuff online, right? Have some respect for yourself. You need to go in home. All right, if you've been around long enough, you've heard that, yeah. right? So now Zoom thing is here, but then I'm having some advisors that are thinking that it's disadvantageous to be able to get the job done with somebody because you're not able to sit in person with them doing annuities. Yeah, and so that's where, you know, this is the, the best part. And, and, you know, I love being extremely successful in this space that because I get to say this. That's where you either need to buy my training uh, and buy Arturo's leads or you buy Arturo's leads and bring me on and let me show you how to do it over Zoom. And then you can learn from me and, and go off on your own. We do, um, I'll give you this. We do uh, a three call close. So it's call, Zoom, Zoom. That's what that's our process with every single one. We do it in 10 days with every client. If it goes over 10 days, you're going to lose it. Yeah, for sure. And that's important too, because a lot of people were coming through and they were trying to just like hang on to it. And uh, you don't know what you don't know, right? And so for me, like, I don't have any skin in the game for whatever Ryan does. I'm not licensed or anything like that. I'm just bringing information closer together for you guys to have a resource that if you do have something like that, you have somewhere to go with it as an insurance policy in regards to doing it, right? So, because um, you don't know what you don't know. And and one thing I do know about Ryan is, is a lot of people get business stuck also, or it takes forever yeah. to get it to run its course, which is another thing, which is the speed of getting actually paid, getting the yeah. business through. He has his whole team. Yeah, industry average for an annuity lead is 45 to 60 days. My office uh, from time of application to commission in your account is 21 days. We average 21 days, so we're flying. Ryan, I had two questions. Um, yeah. Like Arturo was saying, I was, I was downloading my IUL leads yesterday. And when I uh, started talking to him, he kind of almost tried to like push me off the phone because he's like, oh, I didn't realize an IUL was an insurance account. I have cancer and all this other stuff. I'm not going to qualify. I don't think this is for me. But I transitioned the, the conversation into annuities. He has 2.5 million in annuities right now. Uh, most of them are fixed. Yeah. And, he, and, and they also have fees in them. He starts to get his statements and stuff so I can actually look at them and see exactly what it is. We have an appointment tomorrow. But the first question is, how are you creating pain uh, with clients to create urgency? And then the second thing is, how do you build trust with clients so that they feel comfortable moving, you know, that type of money with you? Yeah, so I'll tell you, uh, 2.5 million is a big case, right? So don't, don't like, if you write, if you get 2.5 million in a case once a year, you're lucky, all right? So 2.5 million in one case is a big case. Don't fuck it up. Uh, uh, here's, here's the big thing is I, I am able to create pain points very easily because I've been doing this for 16 going on 17 years. I've seen so many scenarios, so I can talk to a scenario very, very quickly, but I'm able to gain trust with them by uh, all we do. I have a part in my uh, training platform, our, uh, partnering with the client it's called values, the new clothes. So we provide value, we provide education with them, give them education on a high level. And, and because I've been in this industry so long, I know the carriers, I know the reputation, I know a lot about them. And so we can we can complement the good, but also like understanding their portfolio, what they're trying to do, what they're trying to achieve if he has cancer. Like if, if I had cancer 
and I don't know how much longer I'm living, if I'm under the age of 75, I'm going to get a bonus product with like a 20% bonus because if I die in two years, I just got 20% of my money right away, right? And, and it's still a good index product that makes money. Right? Athene has the highest bonus out there. They have the highest par rates too. So you don't have to, like a lot of agents will be like, if you trade, if you get a bonus, you're trading par rates. They just don't know what they're doing. So uh, I, I'll say it's, and the other part is have packets available, right? So um, let me do this. Do, 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 do. I have an insurance. I'll, if you guys text me, I'll send this to you. So I don't go digging through it. I have an info packet that they get prior to meeting me every time. It talks about me, my team, how long I've been doing this, articles I've been featured in. I have four articles, uh, Fox Business News articles, fiduciary news articles. I have all the articles in there and about my team. So it's like, and then I have a really good, um, like what you're seeing, guys, is a product of 16 years of not stopping, right? I'll tell my clients, Google me, look me up, look my companies up, but I have that presence. So if you don't have that presence, my best advice for you is find someone that does have that presence and lean on them until you learn the annuity game, right? Because then you can be like, oh, I work with industry leader Ryan Chakelli. He's been doing this for 16 years, works with hundreds of clients, been in Forbes. Here's his info. Love to set up a call with them. No obligation for consultation. And then you just learn and learn and learn from a guy like me until you're ready to go and do it on your own, right? And so there's no like secret sauce to an overnight success of being able to do it. Like on 2.5 million, if you get the statements, hit me up, let me know what the statements are. If it's old fixed, we can do, we can beat the tar out of it, right? It's so easy to move. Um, if it's new fixed, depending on what it is, like at one point, um, my guys were offering like 7% fixed. You don't move that. You leave that alone. Yeah. He got these, he got these five to six years ago. Oh dude, they're moving. We can move those. That's an easy, easy move. A uh, ridiculously easy move. Uh, because we can get with the bonus plus what par rates are right now. You, you can give him a outlook, a future outlook over, over 10 years or even five years. There's no way those fixed rates are going to be able to not even close touch to what you're going to be able to do for him. So I'm, Tricky, but uh, rates have gone really high. So let them know that, right? It says my internet connection's unstable, so I'm sorry if I'm laggy. You're muted. Yeah, you're you're not lagging yet, so just keep talking fast because it's working. Um, yeah, all right. Well, the big thing is, so let me give you some touch points in case you don't call me. Rates have come a long way. So from 2018 to right now, they've raised rates 11 times. That's 11 increases that this guy doesn't have, right? So- even if you put him in a current fixed product or an index product, he's going to be better off. And with him having cancer, you want the protection of an annuity. You don't want to lose money and you want that probate avoidance and wealth transfer. If it's in stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and he doesn't have it set up correctly, it's a nightmare. You avoid all of that for his loved ones with an index annuity product. Go, go, go. Um, Robert, Mo, Adeline, Tony. Anybody got any, uh, Anthony Schultz, uh, I'm going to call on you next, but anybody got any other questions? Uh, what's your close rate on annuities? 10 calls equal to what? Um, so close rate in person, I'm closing at 95%. I almost close everything. If there's movable money, I'm closing it. Um, over Zoom, we are closing at a 30% rate, which sucks, but that's what we're closing at. So out of 10 calls, I'll close three of them. That's why we try to have 10 calls every two days, right? Because the, the close rate goes way down. <clears throat> Average time, 10 to 15 days from... Were you able to catch all that, Arturo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking right now. So the the last one that I saw was did you did you answer close rate? I don't see that one in here. What carry do you prefer other than a thing? I think that's what well, I'll start with that one just so I can scroll back up. Did yeah, you hear me? Yeah. Did you yeah, hear what there's I said? A lot of good uh, carriers out there. Uh, yeah. Are you able to hear me? Yes. Yeah. 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 What carries do you prefer other than a theme? Yeah, yeah that's what she's a said. bunch of good ones out there. So uh, Gillico, yeah, Gillico has a good income product. American Life has a good product. If you're old, if you have old clients, American Life pays commission up to like 85. Um, uh, F&G, strong product, nationwide, strong product for um, income. Nationwide, if you're not doing income, don't use nationwide. Growth products, uh, Gillico is very strong in the growth right now. 
security benefit, even though I don't like them, they are pretty compelling in the growth. Athene is whooping ass in growth. Um, Equitrust, very strong in growth. Uh, the problem with Equitrust, if you read Equitrust, their surrender schedules are crazy, insane, like 25% surrender year one. So like if you sell someone Equitrust, you better make sure you, you know, because you'll lose your license if you don't disclose that. Um, how do you create urgency? What I do is I micro break down the economy every day. I do it on my social media. I, I upload five videos a month into our training platform. We micro break down the economy like crazy. Up before the election, I talked about the election every day because it's uncertainty, right? And it doesn't like, I'm, uh, I'll just be open with you guys. I voted for Trump. But people that voted for Trump be like, you don't know, like those Democrats might change some stuff up when he gets in there. So I'm always working like you don't know what's going on. You want safety, right? Safety, safety, safety. The uh, In the presentation, um, if, if you text me, I will send you my presentation that I do with my clients. I, I, I went through part of it in the beginning of this. If you didn't see it, that presentation has everything to do with creating urgency, right? Uh, longest bank or longest um, economy run in history uh, was up until 19. COVID happened in 20. Inflation happened after COVID. Banks failed. Commercial real estate refinance. Get yourself safe, right? Commercial real estate is what we're going through right now. So all of that stuff combined in a 45 minute presentation, they're, they're ready to move their money afterwards. Um, one question. I'm partnering with the guy who's been in the industry for 15 years. Tony, I don't, you got a few annuity things. Can you text me the presentation? Yeah, Mo, I'll text you the presentation. Um, Brian, I texted you, but I don't know if my message are, is gone through. Did you get yeah. a text from my 813 number? Uh, no. I have it on silent because I don't want it dinging like crazy while we're sitting here. You got a text message from the 813 number, right? Uh, yeah, I got three one three right here. Yep, I got our short right, call. Perfect. Yep. Uh, 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 everybody can hear us, right? Thumbs up. We're good. Yeah, yeah that lag had me off for a second. Sorry, guys. Yeah, but the thing is, you weren't lagging on my end. It was just on yours because I was good. It was. It yeah. wasn't. It was pretty clear. Unless somebody else. Uh, um, Kirsten Alexa, she texted you. Um, does anybody else have any questions? Um, really quickly. And then Ryan, you can kind of wrap us up with you and then we'll let you go. And then I'll give you a call here in a little bit. Thanks for hopping on, man. First of all, let's drop a seven in the chat. If you guys got some value from what Ryan was dropping, just appreciate. Um, yeah, for sure. Appreciate that. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, go ahead and close us out, man. What you got? Just uh, wrap up. Well, this is what I'm telling you. This is uh, the biggest thing I can tell you is like every one of you on this call, most of you guys are looking for a way to make more money. And if you're not offering indexed annuities or you're not doing at least 10 to 12 sales a year, you're sitting, you're missing out on a hundred to 200,000 in commission easily guys. It's not hard to do. It can be overwhelming. It can be daunting. But like, if you work with someone that's one of the biggest things I'll tell you is most of the mentors out there and most of the IMOs, the reason that they can't hit grand slams and they're hitting base hits, it's because they're not in the field writing every day. I'm doing 33 million in the field writing every day and doing mentorship and doing all this stuff. And so like, there's so many times that you'll get information from an IMO and it's wrong. It's just wrong because they're, they don't, they're not in the field doing it every day. And so if you have a mentor that you're working with, make sure that they're putting their money where their mouth is, right? Like, oh, you're t saying it's easy to move a million a month. How much did you move? Well, I'm moving 3 million a month, right? Like, like, and so you, you want to make sure, because there's a lot of these people out there that will tell you. Like I know one guy on social media and I'm not going to say his name, but, but he's pushing annuity, annuity, annuity. And that guy don't do 5 million a year. And so it's like, man, what are you pushing this annuity for? You can't sell shit. So yeah, there's, there's a huge aspect of doing it and putting your money where your mouth is. Um, and, uh, you know, so just get in the space. If you're not in the space, learn the space, dude, our course is 997 for the training platform. So like I got 16 years of experience in an online virtual training platform called moving, moving millions in minutes, 997. It's, it's super cheap. If, if, if you can't afford 997, they did a lot of payment plans on there. <laughs> and so like, dude, I'm telling you, like if, if I could start over again, I was telling a guy this, um, we had a guy join today, Dan, he goes, Ryan, why, um, why is your stuff so good? And I said, because I've got to this point of success 
Well, we're spending 300,000 a month and or a year, 300,000 a year in marketing by doing everything the wrong way. I've done everything the wrong way in the hard way up until this point. I've spent money with people that gave me shit leads. I've spent money with people that never gave me any leads and they said they were gonna, right? And so I've just taken 16 years of knowledge and put it into one virtual training platform. And uh, if you get that virtual training platform and you buy Arturo's leads, Dude, if I had $10,000 left and that's all the money I had in the world, I'd be buying Arturo's lead in my training platform, all right? Or partnering with me because you can turn one lead, man. That's what I'm saying. That one lead I showed you guys at the beginning of the call, it was $29,000. It took two hours. Where else can you make $29,000 in two hours? Crazy. Well, Ryan, man, you the man, bro. Uh, uh, I appreciate you coming on, taking some time out, uh, out of your busy schedule on short notice. Yeah, um, and so uh, I'm sure people be hitting you up and then I'll give you a call here in a little bit. Um, thanks again for hopping on. Um, you brought the crowd out there. I got Mo on here, man. I ain't seen Mo since Dallas. He popped out <laughs> the bushes on me. I'm like, let's go, baby. So appreciate you, Ryan. That's good. good to see you, brother. Uh, I'll get you guys. The, I got nothing to do for the next 35 minutes. So if any of you guys want to give me a call or shoot me a text, or I'll be happy to get those texts out with the presentations right now. For sure. Thanks, man. I will see you guys. <laughs> Um, really quickly to kind of transition into that. So, uh, Anthony, I heard you were having um, some good results with a little bit of your process. So I wanted to kind of talk through, you know, how you came up with the idea and then kind of what you were doing and sending out. I think you're sending out some personalized uh, messages. For yeah. appointments. So I wanted to kind of talk through that. Well, let's first start with how many uh, appointments that you did get or like what the numbers were so we can just qualify what you're about to say before you say it and then we can kind okay. of talk about the process yeah i just um you know i just kind of started with you arturo and with uh, jack he's been awesome um just got the first 30 about 30 leads i've had out of those 30 i'm calling through i've got one two three four five six six seven seven appointments out of that right now uh, seven, just, you know, and I, I'm just kind of taking them through a process. Like, you know, I wanted to ask Ryan, I didn't get a chance to, I wanted to ask him if he had kind of a plan. I try to put together kind of a, well, just even starting off, I'm sending out personal videos, you know, right. So that's what I want to talk about, like how that's working. Cause that's uh, actually working really, really well. Um, if you said I, I'm just doing it on my phone. I'm just like, you know, I'm just doing a quick video. If I get a hold of them, you know, it's great. Then I can set up a time for the appointment. And then uh, if I don't, I send them a quick text. I send them an email. And then I've got a little drip campaign, an annuity drip campaign that I, you know, I throw them on. Uh, that has got a 10 day drip, you know? Yes. So um, yeah, it is a text video. Yeah. So, it's a text video. Um, for sure. Yeah, so I created a, 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 a I think Jack, if you can find, I'd put it in the channel if you're on here. I can't find it right this second. Oh yeah, here it is. Actually, I got it. It's a personalized, and again, this is for annuities, but it can apply to <clears throat> to anything. So anything, yeah. Uh, personalized text from the phone. He just sends a a video. Again, if you guys aren't familiar uh, with the seven eleven four rule, right? Google did a study. It's like people need to 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 notice you on a certain amount of platforms and they need to see you for a certain amount of time to consume some stuff over a certain amount of touch points, which is seven, four, 11. And this just gives you another torch point because again, there's so much information and people we're so inundated with ads. At first it was commercials, right? That was the thing that inundated uh, everything. Now it's, it's ads when we're online. Right. Perfect. Yes. And so my point to that is, is anything that you can do, right. To stand out and humanize yourself, to get somebody's attention, it's, it's going to be a personalized thing, right? Like Mo probably wouldn't be on here if it wasn't a personalized text from Jack. I'm assuming that it was, that it's like the intent was like, hey, I need you to be on this call. You know what I'm saying? And so with that being said, it's probably why all of you guys are on, on here. And so that's working well for him. Yes, it's not automated and scalable, but we got to get out of that. We're people trying to talk to people. Yes, we want to automate a lot of things, but you need to have some form of personalization to build trust with people because they got all the options, right? They got tons of options and who would they select? Well, I would probably respond to somebody that sent me a personalized message like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I dropped I, the, I, I dropped the, go ahead, go ahead. 
I found that to be really good. Um, it's it's getting a hold of people, you know, putting a face with the name, and um, you know, they seem to be responding. So yeah, for sure. Because um, you know, uh, so anyway, I dropped that in the in the chat. There's the, the example and the script. Make it your own, obviously. And it's just one of those things that if you can increase talking to a couple more people, it can. Um, you know, lead to a couple more booked appointments, which ultimately can lead to more deals for you um, to squeeze a little bit more juice out of lemon. So, um, you know, if you got any more questions about the annuity sales specifically, definitely highly recommend, like even if you don't get the course, reaching out to Ryan, he's a phenomenal resource. You could tell that he could probably sit there and talk about that for hours. I told him 30 minutes because he's like me, he could get long-winded, but we're just reaching out to him. And I always try to put... Um, you guys in good hands with things that are like industry experts. Like we usually have people, John Webmore, Eric Hamadi, we have uh, Ryan Sicelli come through all these people so that, you know, if you're not in this specific network of the IMO, you still get the resources too. So there's a ton of access um, to um, all of those people. And then more importantly, you guys connecting when you guys are um, something's working for you, feel free to share it. It's a, uh, you know, Jack and I are trying to do our best to innovate, but all of the the cool nuances are always going to come from things that you guys tried that we didn't even think of. Like, you know, we've mentioned doing the video text before, but Anthony doing that is like, oh yeah, we definitely need to to send that out so people can 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 try that. It definitely won't hurt. I so, want to ask Ryan too if the, he's using any kind of planning software. I, I you know, I'm I'm playing around with this software. Um, it's a guy cost it's a monthly fee but it's pretty good software it's called Aeris software annuity retirement income strategy software and um you can look it up i don't get anything for it or anything like that but it's a good resource for me um pretty good software uh to kind of kind of show people a plan it helps with laddering annuities um and showing people how they can you know keep themselves from uh, inflation and stuff like that. So Yeah, for sure. And I wanted to, I'm glad you said that. So did everybody get this? Because uh, I think Kirsten just dropped it in the chat. So I'm assuming that Ryan responded. So everybody got this document. It's Kirsten shared it. It's a file, a PDF, so you can download it. Mo, did you see that? Cool. And then I wanted to share all this too. So like Kevin Alexander, pretty much most people know who he is. He's probably been one of my longest tenure client over like three years. But just the point of me showing you some of these meetings that when you can implement speed to lead and contacting people and then implementing some personalization, this is since Saturday um, with him do, doing need annuity, um, doing, ugh, doing annuity leads and staying on top of them. He's uh, he got like 15 appointments, right? You know what I'm saying? And so if you guys can stay on top of this, a couple of things is, is making sure that if your contact ratio is super low, always be suspicious of that. And, and, and one of the things that we make the mistake of is all it's always just the bad lead, but there's, that's, that's just like one piece. You got to think critically, like why would these not pick up? Cause that doesn't make any sense for me to generate leads that don't pick up. So then the question is, is why aren't they picking up? Always, always, always think like, well, is my number bad? Right? Or is it the thing that I'm using? Because that's a huge component of um, a challenge that we have in this business is the pickup ratio and the show up ratio, right? So the personalization helps with contact and then people showing up because it humanizes people and then making sure that your number isn't getting marked as spam if you're using your cell phone or even if you're using these dialers, right? If you're not using an AI dollar or Kixi or something like that, um, it's, gonna, it's really gonna struggle because everybody's online, right? So those numbers are getting used and, and they're not getting washed because they don't own them. Kixi owns the numbers and they make sure that they're scrubbed and it has an AI local presence, right? So that it has some familiarity. Another key, when you text people, text them, hey, this is Joseph James. I saw that you filled out my form for the veteran life insurance or the IUL about or risk reef retirement. So when you text them that, it has your name in there. Guess what happens when you go to call them? It says maybe such and such, right? Hopefully y'all got that. And so just making sure that you all are implementing those things because um, I've seen it just this week. It's been, it's been running rampant of people's pickup ratio being low and it comes to they're still using 
the phone burner number that they've been using for six months to a year. And they're, you know, you wasted money at that point, right? Because the lead may not be bad. It's just, it's your number. So I always try to, um, to check that. And then if you guys don't know what, what, what websites to go through, I think it's like Robo Killer. And uh, off the top of my head, I can't think of it because I'm thinking about a thousand things right now. But there's a couple websites that you can go to. Um, and then there's another one that you can go to to get your reputation. If it is on spam to get it fixed, I have to ask Jerry to send it to me. I'm still waiting on that. Um, but, you know, it's a it's an investment. It's not cheap. But again, it's going to make you more money. You cannot make money if people are not picking up the phone. So at this stage, if you're making a bunch of dials, you need to have something that's going to give you an advantage because the other agent is probably going to still struggle and do the same thing that, that you're trying not to do, putting it off, is not using the AI powered dollar. And so if you can get 20 to 30% boost on your pickup ratio, it's going to give you a few more appointments that could lead to, to one to three more deals per week. That's the difference of 10 to 20 grand. So uh, I know I'm beating a dead horse, but this is one of the things that's important between an agent that is having success and not is these small little things, sending out the video text, texting people um, ahead of time and then calling them, uh, putting your name in there. So when you do call it, it says maybe, and then making sure that you are um, uh, checking your numbers consistently or using some type of AI powered local presence dollar. Hopefully that makes sense. Um. Well, that's pretty much it. We went over just a couple of minutes, but again, thank you guys. Hopefully this was valuable. Was this, was this a valuable hour to spend with you guys? Hopefully y'all got some value from this. Um, we do these once a week and you guys are always open um, to come to these. I'm not, I don't get keep these. It's always good to have a fresh group of people on. So Mo, it's good to see you. Anthony, good to, to connect with you for the first time um, on here. Arletti, Kirsten, hi, Robert. Um, that'll do it for today. Thank you, guys. Let's let's crush the rest of the week. Peace. Thank you. Thank you.